Former Attorney General Christian Porter has confirmed that mystery donors covered some of his legal fees in his recent defamation case against the ABC, but he has no way of finding out who they are. Minister Porter was unavailable for an interview this evening, so we're joined by 7.30's Chief Political Correspondent Laura Tingle. Laura, what exactly has Christian Porter declared? Uh, in his declaration of interests, Lee, he said that Part of the contribution to the payment of my fees by a blind trust known as the Legal Services Trust uh, and uh, has, been, uh, has been forthcoming. And he says, as a potential beneficiary, I have no access to information about the conduct and funding of the trust. Well, how does this fit with the rules about disclosure and are there any precedents? Uh, well, there are a few things in this, Lee. One of them is uh, there is an obligation on members of parliament to disclose things like this, uh, anything that's of benefit to them. Um, and there's also uh, a, a question of conflict of interest uh, with a lot of these things, particularly if you're a minister. Uh, as to the precedents, there's a couple of things here. One of them is that there have been former cases of people declaring that legal fees have been paid or uh, or not paid or but covered for them. For example, Bill Shorten got pro pro bono uh, legal uh, assistance during the Royal Commission into the trade unions. Sam Dastiari's career was ended when he actually declared that he had received funding for some legal costs from a Chinese donor. Uh, but there's an sort of a separate issue here about trusts. Now, um, it, there's a history of this um, and, uh, of course, Lee, you will remember, as I do, the 1979 Public Duty and Private Interest Report by Sir Nigel Bowen. Oh, I can actually, I can just recite it for you, Laura, if you want. <laughs> yeah, but he, he was a former Attorney-General uh, of the Liberal Government, uh, the Coalition, um, appointed the inaugural Chief Justice of the Federal Court by Malcolm Fraser, who also got him to... Uh, report on on the question of uh, public duty and uh, private interest. And on trusts, he said, uh, in part, it should not be possible to avoid the obligation to disclose an interest, whether by registration or by declaration, through concealment in a trust arrangement. So I think there is a question here. Now, the history of this is that most trust arrangements that have got people into trouble have related to, uh, like Phil Lynch, uh, uh, the former Liberal Treasurer, it turned out he was minimising tax through a trust. John Moore, uh, the former uh, Liberal Defence and Industry Minister, got into trouble, though didn't have to resign over share ownership. But on the other hand, you've had both uh, Malcolm Turnbull and Kevin Rudd having blind trusts set up so that they couldn't be accused of making decisions that would benefit the, the interests that they held so that it was to keep a, a wall up there. So there, there is a long history beyond trusts, uh, but I think that it does leave the question of why are you taking money from people you don't you don't know who they are and is that what he's actually saying now we put a series of questions into um, the uh, minister's office this afternoon which he hasn't responded to yet um, just asking him you know you're saying you've got no access to information about the conduct and funding of the trust so how are you made made aware of the trust's existence how was he made available? How was he made aware it was uh, going to fund some of his legal costs? When did this happen? Who contacted him to inform him of this? If he's unaware of who provided the funding of the trust, should he accept the money? Now, there's just a huge range of questions about this. Uh, and just saying, well, there's a blind trust and somebody's looking after me just seems politically perilous, to say the least. And presumably the opposition's uh, chasing him to get those questions answered? That's right. The Shadow Attorney General Mark Dreyfus is uh, raising the questions um, about, you know, where does, where does he think the money's come from? Could it have possibly come from overseas donors? Uh, you know, what, what, what if it's come from lobbyists? Um, and these are reasonable questions to ask if at some point in the future the people who've made these donations would expect something that should create a conflict of interest for Mr Porter, which may not be available, may not be obvious to him now. Laura Tingle, thank you. Thanks, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.